Hey guys, we're out in the truck today. We've got the uh, hula girl going along there. Um, and I'm going to be looking at uh, the speedometer in the truck. Um, ever since I put bigger tires on, the speedometer has been off just a little bit. And uh, I ordered a calibrator. I actually just picked it up at the uh, post office. So I'm gonna open that up later. But before I do, I'm going to just head out on the road and on the highway to see just how far off the speedometer was. I got it adjusted uh, by the dealer. Um, and at one time, I guess this model RAM, according to the dealer, I don't know how true this is or not, used to be able to adjust the number of revolutions per kilometer or something like that. Um, but the last time I went to get mine adjusted, they told me that uh, the best that they could do was select from certain options of tire that were available on this truck from the factory. So they set it to the largest size that was available, which was still smaller than the old size that I had. Um, but it helped a little bit. It helped ar arrange the shift points so that they're a little bit better and the speedometer was closer. It was just a few kilometers off. But now that I have the 35s on, they're just a little bit bigger. I find the speedometer feels like it's off a little bit more. We're gonna check in a minute. But I noticed like shift points, it, it doesn't seem to shift at the right at the right time. It makes the, the truck feel sluggish. So uh, I'm going to have a look at that and see how much better it gets once we put this programmer in. Okay, so we're just on the road that I live on. Uh, heading out towards the highway and you can see here it's off two or three kilometers an hour at this speed it's about four there it's kind of tricky with the gps it's not crazy accurate but we'll see how close it is so i'm gonna head out on the highway and we'll see what kind of difference there is there Okay, so let's open this thing up now. I don't order a whole lot of stuff for the truck. But I think this is worth it. All right, so Hypertech speedometer calibrator. Basically the second cheapest one that I could find. Not too fancy, but as long as it does the job, that's all that matters. We're gonna start dropping it. Right. Crap here. Oh. Stickers, stickers are always fun. We go in the toolbox. All right, so I'm gonna give the instructions a quick read, and we'll. Uh, We'll plug that into the truck. So we're back in the truck and I've got the uh, calibrator here. I'm gonna plug that in. All right, so that's plugged in. Just got the truck on. Now I'm just going through the menus. if you can read that it says stock tire height I'm just gonna move up from there All right, 
So instead of 35 inches, now I know a 35 is like 34.8, but I'm gonna round it up a little bit. Now it's checking for axle ratio, so we're going to skip that. So now it's just reviewing 35 inch tires. of shit going on on the dash there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so now it's saying turn off ignition. Press Y. Thirty seconds. I'm just gonna fast forward this for you guys. Now it says to turn it back on again. Oh, it says successful. So let's see if that works. Go for another quick spin and see if that worked. Okay, so it took a few tries with different tire sizes to find the best setting for this truck. And it seems that it's almost a 34 inch that works best. And I think what it is is the tire pressure is a little low because of the you know winter and I probably don't run as much pressure as I could and the tire flattens down a little bit at the bottom so the actual diameter where it touches the ground is uh, probably half an inch less than it would be overall so a 34 inch diameter setting seems to be pretty darn close it's within a kilometer or two and the GPS is not perfect but that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna see how that uh, drives. I can already tell that it's shifting just a little bit better than it was before. Um, it felt a little sluggish and going up and down hills I found that it would not drop down a gear when it needed to or I'd have to press uh, quite a bit more throttle to get, get it to go. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll run it for a little while and I can always tweak this too if uh, I decide to run a little more air in the tires or as it warms up, if the tire pressure uh, goes up, and I find that that makes a, a big difference in uh, the performance of the truck. But uh, so far, I'm happy with those settings. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna give it a drive for a while and we'll see how that goes. And uh, that's about it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, click the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm really happy with how the channel's going. It's just a little hobby for me to do on the side and I know my videos are nothing professional they're just a little cheesy but I'm happy if you guys actually sit through